Good morning. Happy Saturday to you. The time of the clock is 8 12. I'm here with meteorologist Maria Ruiz uh, in for Kyle Roberts this morning. I see the sign behind us fall warm up. That is fall warm up, fall uh -huh. summer back. Yeah, summer back. There you go. I like that better. Um, yeah, we, Cleo looks behind us. She's like, are we talking about fall, fall colors, foliage? fall foliage? Like what? It's just wishful thinking mm -hmm. is what it is. Um, I haven't seen any great colors, unfortunately. It's been way too dry. Yeah. Our uh, trees dried out too quickly. Uh, and this weekend is going to be warm. I'm going to take you out to Fair Park because it is the last weekend for the fair. Temperature to start at 66 degrees. So right now, fair is all calm, but soon uh, it'll be opening up. And if you are headed in that direction, you're going to see more cloud cover and you might be feeling the pollen just like the last couple of days. Ragweed mountain cedar continues at a high count. Elm at a moderate and fungus at a low count. Your planner for today about 83 degrees at noon. Fair Park will make it to about 90 degrees this afternoon and in the evening. I'm thinking around seven temperatures will be in the mid 80s. Overall, just warm. The wind will be light out of the south at about five to 10 miles per hour and you'll notice more cloud cover overhead, but even with the cloud cover today, we still make it to 93 degrees and that'll be across Dallas and Fort Worth 93 in Denton, 90 in McKinney, 93 for Decatur, 96 in Mineral Wells. This is close to record heat, so the record at DFW is 94. Our forecast is 93. This is 16 degrees above what's considered normal for this time of the year and it stays warm at least through the weekend. Next week, temperatures drop just a tad because of added cloud cover. The cloud cover right now coming in from the tropics, by the way, this is Hurricane Norma. It's a category two storm that is impacting currently Los Cabos, Mexico. That's eventually going to move into uh, northern Mexico, but that cloud cover it's spanning all the way into North Texas. That's where our cloud cover comes from, and that's why we'll notice the cloud cover throughout the weekend. Look at what happens though next week. I'm going to take you through. This is now Monday. This area of high pressure moves out. We'll notice a bit more Gulf moisture coming in. That's where our 20% coverage of rain comes in. A disturbance from the west is going to come in. This is now Tuesday and it's going to bring in some beneficial rainfall across portions of the panhandle into West Texas. Eventually a front develops. This is now Wednesday, so Wednesday We'll see that moisture from the tropics uh, interact with that front. It's going to sneak into North Texas, and that's what keeps our coverage at about a 20 to 30 percent late next week. That front eventually clears the area Friday into Saturday, and that's what finally brings our cool down. The beneficial rainfall two to three inches, maybe even higher to our northwest DFW, somewhere between one to two inches looking likely for us. And man, do we need it? Our latest drought monitor still has us under exceptional drought anywhere from Parker County towards Tarrant and Denton County as well. Our 14 day forecast here showing that daily rain chance next week. It's not going to rain all day every day, but there is a small at least coverage every day. That is what keeps temperatures in the low 80s. But once that front clears the area 70s on Friday and then we continue to see those 70s until Halloween with a high of 63 degrees. So another little cool down just in time. OK, so at least it won't be like 90s for the trick or treaters. At, as of now, it doesn't look like it. As, as of, of now, now, she said, guys, as of now. <laughs>